Hi Belters and welcome. On this channel quite often I do videos to help beginners avoid the pitfalls when it comes to needle felting and one of my big bugbears is that on Amazon there are some kits that maybe aren't the best. There are some good ones, Crafty Kit Company, Heidi Feathers to name a couple, but there are some kits out there that really don't give you the best start with needle felting. So I thought I would demonstrate the point and order three of those kits. Boy was I surprised. And they also had polystyrene in them and I've never used polystyrene balls. So let's get started and see how it went. <laughs> So these kits are from a company called Trim It. They are £5.50 on Amazon, which is not a lot of money. It's about £6.86. You do get instructions. Uh, they're quite thin on the ground, but they are instructions. You get the wool, which is carded, which is lovely to see. You get one needle. If you were to order a couple of them, you would have three needles. Because if you break, if you only get one needle and you break it, it's really disappointing for a beginner. It is a 32, so it's quite thick. And you get the polystyrene for the body the head and the legs and the ears are felt cut out and you get the eyes so you get everything you need so as i said the wool is carded so that's quite nice um you don't get a mat that is a problem you will have to get a mat yourself or you could use a rolled up towel it's not that easy um so i would spend a couple of pounds getting a mat and you don't get finger cards but that's not the end of the world i think that's okay to begin with um so attaching it it does make this funny noise when you felt into polystyrene I fully expected this to not be very good. It does pull away really easily, but once it's all covered, I don't see it being that bad. I've never used polystyrene because I always felt it would break down and it just wouldn't feel the same. But I have to say, once I covered this, roughly covered it with all the wool, I had plenty of wool, um, I spent a while smoothing it all over and it was enjoyable and it was exactly like needle felting. So for a beginner to experience that, I think it was quite good. The large body was absolutely fine, but the head and legs polystyrene, it did seem to break down the more I felted it. But here I am. So I've done the body. I've gone all the way over it and it looks like a felted ball. It's very light, so it's not the same, but it did give a relatively good finish. Um, so this is the head. So I've covered this up with the white wool and the more I sort of felted it around and tried to smooth it and I did manage to smooth it over the softer the foam came on the inside. So I felt it wasn't the best. The head is actually too big for this sheep when it's all done, but I was able to get a smooth finish. It wasn't awful, but the legs, the polystyrene legs were very difficult to felt through with a large needle as well. So you can see there's quite a bit of squish in there. So it wasn't ideal, but I, you know, I have managed to do it. And attaching the details to the face, that wasn't a problem with the 32 needle. Um, with the eyes, I just stabbed in a hole sort of a, a couple of times just to make it a bit bigger and push them in. Ideally, you would use a little bit of glue just to keep them in there, but I am just sort of testing this kit out. The wool itself was quite a um, short staple length, we would call it. It's not a problem. It was still, you know, possible to use, but it's much it's a definitely a different quality to what you'd get, say, at World of Wool. With the ears, um, I felted the darker colour on. There was no way you could not have this go through to the other side, especially with a 32 needle. Um, so once you do that, just put a little bit of white on the back side just to cover it up. And then I fold them in half and attach them on. They attached um, absolutely fine. And I was concerned that the head wasn't going to attach to the body but it did. I felt it was very strong. The legs did attach, but as I said, the legs just, the legs just didn't feel right to me. But, um, towards the end, when I did the unicorn, I just used, I did, made the legs without the polystyrene. It was much, much better, but yeah, I was impressed with the polystyrene ball and the way in which everything attached to it and the finish that I got with the large pieces of polystyrene. Would I use them again in the future? I don't think I would, um, because I would prefer to felt something and it's got a bit of weight behind it because the polystyrene was really light once it was done. So it felt a bit odd to me. But then that probably would be good for ornaments on Christmas trees and things like that. So here I am attempting the legs, wrapping them up. And this isn't too bad to begin with. But the more I felted it, the more it sort of feel I feel it broke down, which is what I had heard about polystyrene. Um, but I did attempt to do it as best I could. I had the um, title of this video all worked out before I actually did these kits in my head as 
the beginner needle felter, the struggle is real, meaning that it's really hard to get um, a good kit when you're a beginner. You pop on Amazon, you see this kit, you think it looks good, you get it and it's really difficult. Well, actually, this one wasn't that bad, I have to say. So I was completely proved wrong and I didn't expect this kit to be as good as it was. The legs um, were easy to pull off and reattach when I made a mistake and then I just popped a little bit. I didn't quite do the same as the picture. I just popped a little bit of um, hair on the top and then I also did a tail on my one. So with this kit, I had plenty left over. Yes, his head's too big. Um, you could probably do it without the polystyrene on the inside. So next up's the hedgehog. And he looks really good on the picture and you get a lot of pre-cut uh, felted bits and you get the stalk. It's not there, but the stalk of the flower is all done for you. So that works quite well. Um, and it does, because as a beginner, trying to do the tiny details, especially when you don't have finger, card, finger guards, would be tricky. So here I am just attaching the brown and then the body will just have a bit of the peach on the front and we'll just go a little bit faster so you don't have to watch it all but that's a pretty good finish um any gaps were easy to cover up because it's carded wool see there's a little gap there a bit of white showing through so just take a little bit and it merges really well because the kits that really annoy me are the ones that come with all the tops and poor beginners you know start using them the tops leave loads of marks and it's really hard to get a good finish. So the carded wool makes life so much easier. And here we are, just speeded it up a bit, did a couple of little details. And I do like the ears and the feet. And then this is the flower with the stalk and you pop the arms around it. And, and that is, as a beginner, if you'd have got that, I'd be really pleased. So I think the hedgehog kit is definitely a good one. Last up is the unicorn. Couldn't resist a unicorn. It was really odd, the polystyrene shape for the unicorn, but I understand why. Again, you get your one needle, no mat, so you have to buy your mat. You get some lovely colours, um, small amounts, but you don't need much. So that's the white for the unicorn. And it was a very white white. You also get the horn all done for you and the ears are done. So this was odd, though. It had a cocktail stick on the inside, but then... How else are they going to do it for £5.50? Um, so I just used this white. So this white is a really acrylic white. And well, it's like a polyester. I didn't enjoy felting it. Um, it. It gives a real crunch. And then you add to that the polystyrene underneath. But it did give me a relatively smooth finish. I do like the peach that you put on the nose. And the legs were, again tricky because they're so small I ended up using my blue 40 spiral from Heidi Feathers which is one of my favorites so there you can see it's a real short fiber acrylic so not not the nicest to work with but you know it gives it's a nice white finish attached all the legs and the horn was really tricky to get on and not squash it so for a beginner I think it might be a little bit of a struggle um, the ears were easy to pop on, the eyes again, same as before, needle felt the hole a little bit bigger and then pop them in. And then the tail, I just got strips of it in the four colours, felted it upside down and then fold the tail back down and felted it down a bit and I trimmed the end. And then with the mane, I just did four colours again and I like to give it a little twist and just felt it just sort of underneath by the legs and then I gave it a forelock as well which wasn't on the picture so but look you know that is a unicorn and if as I said if I was a beginner you were starting to get the feel of what it would be like to felt something um, as an intro so for five pounds fifty the kits could have been a lot worse have you used these before i'd be really interested to hear about it do let me know in the comments below and this is all the wool i had left over there we go felters so a really good video to try out and you've got to admit that hedgehog definitely was cute um, if you are a beginner and you're looking for a starter kit here's a video which i go through everything you're going to need to look for in a good starter kit just click on that and i'll meet you over there and i also have a full beginner playlist Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again soon.